On October 1st, 1999, the Harry Ramston Fish and Chip Shop opened in United Kingdom Pavilion just in time for Epcot's Millennial Celebration. In case you didn't know, Harry Ramston's is one of the most famous fish and chips restaurants located in the UK. It opened in 1888 in West Yorkshire, Northern England, which is one of the reasons it was accepted the World Showcase, bringing a counter service that still featured the taste of UK and not breaking the family budget. In 2006, the name of Harry Ramston Fish and Chip Shop was changed to Yorkshire County Fish Shop. Yorkshire County was the first location for Harry Ramston's on February 10, 1888. In 2010, Harry Ramson's ended its sponsorship for the counter service restaurant, but it's still remembered for their battered fish and soft potato chips. Let's recreate it at home. When you can dream and you can start a dream. Welcome to Remy's Apprentice, where we believe anyone can cook. For over 20 years, I've been dining at the Walt Disney World Resort and bringing the flavors of magic back to my own kitchen. Let me share some of these recipes with you. Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Remy's Apprentice. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up at the end of the video and subscribe. Remember that you can also get early access, extra content, and recipes by becoming a patron at patreon.com. Now without further ado, fish and chips from Yorkshire Fish Shop. Now first we're going to want to start with our chips. Russet potatoes can be used. For the chips you're going to want to slice, chop, or cut into your thickness preference. You can skin them if you want, but I like a rustic look. It gives more of a theme to our culinary adventure, and also reminding ourselves that the potato peeler wasn't invented until 1947. Once all of your potatoes are to your desired preference, it is now time to give them a bath and dry. It should take anywhere between 3-5 to five rinses before getting your water crystal clear and away from the murky water. After patting your chips dry, add to a bowl, cover, and store until ready to fry. Alright, now for our batter. We're going to want 1 teaspoon salt, 1 8 teaspoon white pepper, 3 teaspoons of sugar, 2 teaspoons baking powder, 2 egg yolks, 3 4th cup cornstarch, and 2 thirds cup flour, 1 and 3 4 cup water. Now, this recipe calls for 1 third cup lager, so being an American, I have to slap the crown in the face with my buddy Sam Adams. And there you go, all of our ingredients for our batter. Now just like any of our recipes, we're going to want to mix our wet ingredients before we mix our dry ingredients. Once wet ingredients are well combined, go ahead and start adding in your dry ingredients. Once all ingredients are combined, you should have a batter that looks like this. Also something that is very important, in order to get the right flavor, you need to fry this in sunflower oil. Now I'm going to go with the exact recipe, which calls for cod. This is enough batter for 3 pounds of fish of your choice. Completely submerge your fish before adding to your 400 degree oil for 6 to 8 minutes depending on the thickness. Now it's time for our chips. I'm not going to tell you how long to cook this for, as some people like their chips more crispy than others. However, I will tell you that you can batter your fries as well. Let chips air out on a cooling rack for 3-5 to five minutes and serve. And if you want, salt to your preference. Don't forget your malt vinegar and there you go, fish and chips from Yorkshire County Fish Shop. And I must say, this recipe did turn out exactly the way that it should have. Amazing. Don't forget to add a lemon slice, and until next time on Remy's Apprentice, cheers. 